channel Infotech with Zafar Khan. Today I am going to discuss a new lecture of DevOps series that is lecture number 17. So here in this lecture we will discuss about the Ansible. So basically Ansible is a powerful automation tool which is widely used in digital business. We will discuss more about in details with the slide. So without any delay let's start now now what is ansible ansible is open source powerful tool for automation to provision the target environment and deploy the application open source means the software is released through a specific kind of license that makes its source code legally available to end user it is available in source code form without additional cost. It doesn't mean that executable software is given away for free. It means that source code is available for free. Users can view the code that comprises the software and make any kind of changes to it whatever they want. Anyone can take the source code and distribute their own program from it. Ansible is a tool, basically configuration management tool is written in Python and uh, it uses the declarative markup languages that is YML to describe the desired state of devices and configuration. Ansible automates provisioning, configuration management, application de deployment and orchestration and ma many other manual IT processes. Now provisioning. When you talk about the provisioning, there are number of different types of provisioning that is server provisioning, user provisioning, network provisioning and service provisioning. So server provisioning is the process of setting up a server to be used in a network based on required resources. So this is this diagram is showing that server provisioning. So Ansible is connected with the target node with uh, SSH and here the playbook is written and this is the host basically. So Ansible uses the playbook and push the code to the target node. Now user provisioning. User provisioning is an identity management process that ensure user accounts are created given the necessary permission, proper permissions basically to access that particular server. Next one is the network provisioning. Network provisioning is the process of setting up a network so that the authorized user devices, containers and servers can access it. In practice, network provisioning primarily concerns connectivity and security, which means a heavy focus on device and identity management. Now the service provisioning. It includes the setup of services and managing the data related to it. Service provisioning has applications in the telecommunication industry in setting up a service for a customer as well as with cloud infrastructure. This is what we have discussed about the provisioning. Now configuration management. Ansible is a configuration, configuration management platform that automates storage, servers and networking. When you use the Ansible to configure these components, difficult manual task becomes repeatable and less vulnerability to error. So Ansible is a modern configuration management tool that facilitates the task and setting up and maintaining remote server with a simple design intended to get user up and running quickly. 
Ansible doesn't require any specific software to be installed on the node that will be managed with the tool. A control machine is set up with the Ansible software which then communicate with the nodes via standard SSH. As a configuration management tool and automation framework, Ansible encapsulate all the common features present in the other tools and the same category while still maintaining a strong focus on simplicity and performance. Now the application deployment. App Ansible automation platform offers a simple solution to deploy the application. It gives you the proper it gives you the power to deploy multi-tier application reliably and consistently, all from one common framework. Multi-tier -tier means application developed more than one layer. That is what the multi-tier. You can configure key service as well as push applications file from one common system. So basically Ansible works as a push based mechanism. This is a very important from interview points of view. Ansible works as a push based mechanism. Push based mechanism means Ansible playbooks are pushed from the controller node to the managed nodes where the actual playbook will run and perform a specific task or actions. Puppet and shapes are based on the pull mechanism whereas Ansible is the based on push mechanism. So puppet and shape is another kind of uh, configuration management tool uh, based on the pull mechanism. Remember it puppet and shape are based on the pull mechanism whereas Ansible is based on the push mechanism. Uh, we will discuss about the playbook details in the upcoming videos how playbook is work how to write the playbook and how to configure the playbook in the ansible so we will discuss in details in upcoming videos now orchestration orchestration is the automated configuration management and coordination of computer system applications and services orchestration help IT to more easily manage complex tasks and workflows. So orchestration also helps you to streamline the optimized frequently occurring process and workflow which can support a DevOps approach and help you help your team to deploy application more quickly. Orchestration used to automate IT processes such as server provisioning, incident management, cloud orchestration, database management, application orchestration or application management and many other tasks and workflow. Now why Ansible? Ansible basically delivers a simple IT automation that ends repetitive tasks and frees up DevOps team for more strategic work. Here are some important benefits or you can say advantage of using Ansible. That is why it is come into the picture in the market. So one of the most significant advantage of Ansible is that it is free. Free to use by everyone. It does not need any specific system administrator skill to install and use Ansible. And the official documentation is very comprehensive. So if you are thinking that it's a system administrator is required, no, it doesn't require any specific, special uh, system administrator skill. It doesn't require. You can, anyone can install and use the Ansible if he, he know the Ansible little bit. And official document or documentation is very, very comprehensive. Its modularity regarding plugins, module, inventories, 
एंड प्ले बुक्स मेक्स एंड सिबल द परफेक्ट कंपेनियन टू ऑर्केस्ट्रेट लार्ज इन्वायरमेंट एंड सिबल इज अ वेरी लाइट वेट एंड कंसिस्टेंट एंड नो कॉन्स्टेंट रिगार्डिंग द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम और अंडरलाइंग हार्डवेयर आर प्रजेंट इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी सिक्योर ड्यू टू एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट इट इज एजेंटलेस इट डजेंट रिक्वायर्ड इन एजेंट सो इट इज एजेंटलेस and because of that it is a very secure and due to the use of open ssh security features another advantage of ansible is that encourages the adoption of ansible it is a smooth learning curve determined by the comprehensive documentation and easy to learn structure and configuration so this is all about the overview of the ansible which we have we have discussed about the features and benefits of the ansible we'll discuss more about the playbooks and terminologies some terminologies used to write a play playbook of ansible i hope you like this video and subscribe my channel we will meet again in the next video if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section i will try my best to answer your all queries